as a fan of the show, it's honestly harder to think of things I didn't love about it. I mean, I just, it was the world, like the nuance and the color of that world, the sounds, like you could, you could smell Dylan watching it. You know what I mean? All the sunsets and the music that was there. And the actors were just like extraordinary. They were giving the most exquisite, lifelike performances. And I watched the very first episode of the show. I was still in, in um, college when they filmed the pilot. And I watched the first episode of the show years later. And I was like, I should have been in the show. I can't believe I wasn't in the show. Like, I just felt like it was my mission in life to be on this show. Hey guys, my name is Matt Lauria and I'm flashing back to Friday Night Lights. Luke Cafferty is a very sincere young man who has kind of an extraordinary sense of consequence and responsibility for such a young guy who is determined and has conviction and has a real sense of purpose and self-possession and is up against uh, a lot of challenges that that are sort of out of his control and, and navigating that and taking a lot of it on the chin like like a really sturdy you know mature person i had my first audition and then i had a call back with pete bird the creator of the show and i did my scene and he goes do it again uh but just say the address over and over again this is the scene where I get busted for having a fake mailbox address. I need you to tell me where you live. 2268 Oakdale Road. Is that really where you live? Yes, ma'am. 2268 Oakdale Road. You know that's an empty field with a mailbox in front of it, right? And I started saying, doing the whole scene with only that line. He goes, beg, beg. Now, plead. Now, now, you know, like, you know, you know, intimidate, and he just kept throwing like what I was supposed to do with this one line. And I'm like breaking down tears and snot all over the place. And they get really mad and yell in his face. I will do anything. I swear to you, I'll do anything. <laughs> I'm begging you. There it was. I went to my final round. And in my final round, Taylor Kitsch was in the actual screen test because he was he was reading with the Beckys. And so I walked in the room and there's Riggins. And I was just like, dude, dude. You know, I was like, so he had the long hair. I think he was probably wearing flannel or something. You know what I mean? And, and so I uh, I couldn't really mask my enthusiasm. And then we, we got to improvise. We got to play and have a good time. It's a pretty special thing to be able to work with actors who you know are in the middle of giving an iconic performance. Like you're joining a cast and you're watching Connie Britton and Kyle Chandler play legendary, iconic characters. And you're just aware of that when you arrive in Austin, Texas, when you meet them for the first time at the cast dinner, when you get to, when you have the privilege of doing scenes with them, you know that something truly special. And we went out to dinner one night and Kyle gave this very coach-esque speech that was very generous and very welcoming. And at the same time, in fact, he was saying, you'll never have an opportunity like this ever again. Don't take it for granted. Like, we did something special here. You're gonna love this, but don't blow it. <laughs> but you know, in a nice way. And, and I felt the burden of responsibility, you know, the minute I got the job, I started going, okay. I just started praying and going, what can I bring? What can I bring? You know, the, the most fulfilling journey to go on creatively was working, it was the Becky storyline and the abortion and working. I mean, like, these are incredibly complex values and um, situations to, to navigate with very limited life experience. And Maddie Burge, uh, Dora, you know, who played Becky, she was so easy to just collaborate with and sort of like, you know, we just developed this beautiful um, connection on screen. You're pregnant, all right? And whatever you decide to do, that's a huge decision. And that's a decision you're gonna have to live with for the rest of your life. 
that I'm gonna have to live with. It was this determination that, like, I'm out of my, I'm out of my depth here with this pregnancy situation. Spiritually, there are all these implications that have been told to me that are haunting me and scaring me, and I'm just trying to do the right thing by this person. I think I just thought of what a special moment it was to present, you know, regardless of how people feel about what Becky should have done or shouldn't have done. You're presenting a truthful glimpse at a 16-year-old who's in this very tough situation. What yeah. if I don't? What if I don't want to have the baby? I can direct you to literature for that. Hopefully, this depiction uh, on Friday Night Lights gave people empathy to go. What if it was me? What if it was my kid? I don't know. So I think that's why it's so meaningful. Friday Night Lights has like a, has a very special place in so many people's hearts. It's the show. I mean, that and Parenthood, I mean, they're both Kaden's shows, are the ones that people tell me that they're rewatching and rewatching. And I talked to a kid about it who's 20 years old, who watches it like over and over again. And I was thinking, golly, he was 10 when it came out or younger and yeah he was probably six or five when they started filming it and still it he responds to it and, and it like moves him and it, and it helps him. it's a beautiful show i think that friday night light still resonates with people today 15 years later because of tim riggins because that that brooding dangerous but hard of gold stringy greasy hair airstream living scoundrel and also i hear most from people that it makes them want to be their best you know it makes them want to really dig deep and, and i mean the whole clear eyes full hearts can't lose words to live by and the other thing that i hear so much from the show probably more than anything else is that couples talk about Kyle and Connie, the, the way that they, de they depicted Coach and Tammy's relationship. And they just said, it's helped my marriage, it's helped my relationship. They just, the way that they communicate seems like uh, very aspirational to a lot of people. So the, the ingredients that Friday Night Lights is made of are like the things that matter most. You know, it's, it's heart and determination and identity and love and disappointment and community i mean it's 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 the it's the timeless themes um that will never not resonate hopefully <laughs>